Hey guys, this is The Collector. As you well know, I'm a gun guy. Had to be collecting these guns for 15 years. I had to figure out what to do to shoot them. So I decided to build a range in my basement. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, here it is, my 30 yard range. It took, the, it took Action Target about, mm, it was probably about four months to design it, give or take. Um, then it took about another month for them to bring the product, which was two semi-trailers full of stuff. And then it took three guys probably about a month to do it in, to install. But this is my baby. So let's start with the, the bay itself. So you've got some nice brushed aluminum, which is always sweet. Then you have the, the outside panels, which are bulletproof, so nobody can shoot you from the other side accidentally. I want all the options you could possibly get for this range. So as far as the retrieval system, I wanted more than a toggle switch. I wanted everything. Starting with the retrieval system, this is all AR-500 everywhere, so if anybody accidentally shoots it, it won't hurt it. Everything's internal, including the batteries. When it pulls up to this copper wire, it charges the batteries. And then this, on the retrieval itself, it'll spin 360 for different drills that we do. So it'll go sideways, it'll spin, it'll do everything. Then we get to the touchscreen because I don't want those toggle switches to suck. So I'd rather have something, you know, more high tech. So you have different programs for, for example, pistol advance, um, and then you get into the decision making drills, and then charging drills and reload drills. Okay, which program should we use? Let's go charging drill advance. Let's put on police one on both retrievers. Start. Four, three, two, one. Let's go down there and check it out. So on the sides are the, air, the noise baffles. So it keeps the noise down for upstairs so the wife can't hear it. She explains to me it sounds like popping popcorn in the microwave. On the ceiling is all AR-500 steel with the air baffles like you had in high school on the ceiling to keep the sound down, covering the sound as well. The rubber berm, which is about 6,000 pounds of rubber and it's about six feet thick, seven feet thick at the bottom and then about four feet thick on the top. So on this whole wall here is all AR-500. You can see some of it right here that helps with deflection. So there's no ricochets coming back at you. And on the very end, you'll also you can see the, all the AR-500 on top of the ceiling as well. So behind all this rubber is also AR-500. So we had to buy a ballistic door, which was around $8,000 just to keep the hot water heater and the boiler safe, which is probably a smart thing to do. Then we had the camouflage floor poured in, which I thought was fitting. Let's go shoot something. Hmm, what should we shoot? Okay, go big or go home. I've shot this Dell computer with a um, 5.56. Let's shoot it with a 50, see what happens. Okay, brother, you're gonna need some walkers for this. What you doing, Matt? Texting the wife, telling her it's fire in the hole. So right now I have a, there's a Trigicon on here, 50 cal. Trigicon with an EOTech on top, which is pointless, but I guess if they were close, you can use it. And I have a laser on it, so I know where the round is gonna go what in the meat of the target. Ready to rock and roll? So she just texted me back, holy shit, you weren't kidding. Oh, 
Why don't they cover that under warranty? So the ventilation right now is pumping out all that bad stuff currently out of the range. You see a little bit of residue up there now, but the, right over here is all these fans are pushing out to the fans that are above the ceiling, pushing all the bad shit out. That's incredible, man. There was a ton of smoke just like five seconds ago. Yep, it kicks ass. Dale would be pissed. Okay, guys, this is the range. Hit the like and subscribe. If you want me to shoot something smaller or bigger, let me know. Take care.